Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Chaos Africa Weekly meeting. Um, we're glad to see, see you today, even though I can't see anybody. <laughs> but yeah, our facilitator for today is Omar and Kingsley, and um, I'm going to drop the meeting minutes to the agenda, um, to the chat. Please um, tell us um, your name and what is the funniest movie you've seen and would love to see again. So I'll hand the word to Omar or Kinsley, whoever is going first. <laughs> we have two first speakers. Omar, you, can you hear me? Or can anyone hear me? Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yep, I can now. Hi everyone, welcome to today's meeting. I can see we have some newcomers here. So welcome everyone to Chaos Africa meeting. Where is my co-facilitator? I guess he's no longer here. I thought he was here a minute ago. Yeah. He, yeah, he loaned right now. <laughs> okay. okay, so... I think we should get the meeting started, right? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. So I want to welcome everyone that is joining us for the first time. I can see Chinni do. Has Chinni do joined before? No. No, it's my first time. Okay. Hi, Chinni do. Welcome to Chaos Africa. Um, Hi. I can, can you do that because in introduction and tell us where you're joining from. Okay, um, my name is Wachkuchinedu and Wachkuchinedu Blaze and I live in Abuja and um, I'm a UX designer. So should I see my, my, my funniest movie? Because I always love Hey, you can movie. say it. <laughs> okay. You can also say it and add it to the chat too. Yeah? Okay, my funniest movie is um, Dirty Grandpa, 2006 um, by... Um, Robert De Niro and Zac Efron. I remember that. I've no one that one. You see, I've That's not watched it. the movie. Yeah, I've not watched it before. I'll check it out though. I think you remember Hello? that. Movie. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you hear okay. us? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. I, I don't joke with them. Be like. I feel like watching it all the time because I don't have time. Well, yeah, so, I'll find a way to download it. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can get it anyway. It's 2016. They see Grandpa. Yeah, okay. nice to meet you. Okay, Chinedu, thank you for your for the brief introduction. Who else is joining us for the first time? Um, I didn't hear you. Come here. I said, who else is joining us for the first okay, okay, time? Okay. I don't, I, know. Think I don't know. I think that's all we have. I think um, Chinedu is the okay. I'm just enjoying it for the first time. Okay, let's move to the next item on the. Let's move to the next item on the agenda, and that would be Journey in Cares by me, myself, and Lami. Is Lami here? Yep. I think so. Lami is here. Yes, I am. Okay. So, Lami, can you tell us like your journey into the chaos community, your contribution so far, and how it has helped you? Okay. Please give me a minute just to sit down. Do you want to go first? I'm I'm just entering. Okay. Okay. Let me go first. So hi everyone. Um, my name is Ihoma Anaske. I joined the Chaos Community April April this year. Yeah, April twenty twenty two. And since then, there's been an amazing time. So last year, end of last year, uh, to beginning of this year, I. Started getting interested in contributing to open source. 
I was finding it difficult looking for a project or a community to join. It was really difficult for me. I joined the community sometimes. So because the communities I joined, I didn't know what they were up to until um, until February. I saw that there was an opening for Alpuchi, um, the Alpuchi internship. So I applied for it. And then during selecting of projects, I saw the chaos community was among the projects that you can contribute to. So I chose it and I started contributing to the community thanks to the help from my mentors, um, Elizabeth and Sean. They were really, really helpful during that period. Though I didn't get <laughs> the internship, but the community was so amazing. It was so accepting and inclusive that even though I didn't get the internship, I found it hard to leave. Like I was stuck in the community because in chaos, they give you a platform to grow. Since I joined chaos, I've made different contributions. Even when I feel that my contributions might sound silly or stupid, my suggestions and my ideas might sound stupid, I will talk to Roots. And Roots said that no idea is stupid. The highest thing that will tell you is no. And that since she said that in stuck to my head. So I will actually make my contributions. If, it was, if it's rejected, I'll accept it in good faith. If it's accepted, I'm excited because I'm contributing to a larger and a broader community. So that's my journey to chaos and my contribution journey. It's not that much, but it has been very, very helpful to my person. <clears throat> Sometime last year, if you asked me to speak like this in a meeting, i very sure I can't. I couldn't speak at all. I am a very quiet person. But since joining the chaos community, when I have an idea or a contribution to make, I will still ask Ruth that I will tell her this contribution and the idea. She will be like, you say it, you do it. And most times I will actually just say it. And I discovered that, wow, I can actually speak anywhere and it has been helping me since then. So thank you. Lani, I'm done. The floor is yours. Did anybody hear me? Yes, we heard you, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, well done, Uma. And um, yes, I, I'm really proud of how far you've you know, come. And you're participating meeting today, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think is Lami, Lami, are you, are you with us? Is Lami still here? I think Lami dropped off. Probably should come back. Um, okay. Yeah. So maybe we would want to, maybe we want to go to the next agenda item till Lamy's back. I don't know. Okay, let's move to the next item on the agenda. And that would be the DI badging website development. Okay. Um, so yeah, okay, before I'm still trying to get Enoch to join the meeting. Enoch is supposed to talk about that. But before um, Enoch talks about, you know, you know, let me see if um, Enoch will join in after we talk about. So there's an issue I dropped in the channel. Um, let me open a link to that. So the the chaos bots we have, it's an issue that it's very it's newcomer friendly and it's the first time I only issue and anyone can literally solve it, um, even though you don't even contribute to JavaScript. Um, let me open it. So I don't know if anyone wants to take this up. I dropped it in the channel. Can everyone see my screen? I had yeah, dropped I it can. in the channel. But I don't think people who saw it. But yeah, does anyone, for a first time, like if you've not contributed to care before? Hi. Then, yeah, and hi. Someone, someone indicated interest. Let me try and look for the person yesterday. Oh, wow. So I thought you were going to respond to it. I'll look for it. And on, that, on that, um, on the, is it on the, on the message I sent to the channel or via your DM? No, no not my DM. I'm trying to look for it. OK. 
if I, there was so a day in car wanted to solve this but i wanted somebody i wanted somebody to pick it that had not contributed so if it's a day in car she had commented but yeah I, I was like um it would be really nice for someone who has not contributed before to take on the issue so if the person was a day in car Okay, so I think would if anyone is interested in contributing to this, it's basically every every detail for the um okay, yeah, Dotun, yes, you can you can just make a comment. Let me send the link of this to the channel to the you can make a comment on it and I'll assign you to it. I'll assign you to the issue. So just make a comment here and I'll assign it to you. Thank you very much. That's all. Um, okay, I think we can. Can go to the next, the other agenda item. Where is that? that okay. Let's move to the other item on the agenda. And that would be volunteers needed for the badging website development. Okay, um, so since Enoch is not here, I'll just talk about it. Um, so if you check in the Chaos Africa channel, we we have been, Enoch had dropped a message about, um, you know, starting up the badging websites. Um, and before, at the start of August, Kingsley um, started, it is Kingsley, Lamy, um, Victoria, they started um, a, the design process for DI badging websites, one of the projects in chaos. Let me see if I can find the Figma link. So they started a, the, they started the design for that, for that project and so far they've done a lot of stuff on the whole design you can see let me try to share it starts this i'm not sure i'm so bad at using this figma okay so they've they've done a lot of work the designers have done a lot of work so we are trying to start up the development process um which if you check the channel the chaos africa channel um so these are these are what the designers have been working on. There are a lot of pages here. This is like the home this page. Nice. Yeah, like well done to Kinsley and the other designers have been working. This is the about us page. They've done a lot of work here. A lot of work. And so since they've taken this work to like they've taken it to a very good stage. So see the about us page. Um we want to start the development process. Oh yeah, okay, Chine, do I'll add you to the design focus. There's a design focus group where you can also talk with the Kinsley is the kind of like the person leading the design work. So you can have conversations with Kinsley as well. So this is what like they've done a lot of things. Kinsley will also add you to the to the Figma um to the Figma um board or the project board. So we want to start the development process and sometime last month we discussed using React for the whole thing and um, Enoch will be leading that development process um, and he put out a message on the channel about people indicating interest and which was it was a really interactive message and a lot of people have indicated interest and i i feel it's i think it's react that would be the technology that we are going to be using for that for that um for that website so we also have like a project board although the board is not yet populated a project board on i'm sure he has been adding people to this project and um, to this repository so we have a project board that we are using to track the work that we are doing. Um, this is the project board as well. Um, we are putting up issues 
we have a repository for the badging website, um, which is here. See, they have set up the, so the next thing we're trying to do is set up like the different components and Kinsley has also been working with the designers to, I think what he told me earlier today was he has been working to, um, you know, get designers to um, build a design system. So they are working like on a design system um, and also making, defining all the components that the dev team would use for, would use to uh, implement their website, their website, the design. So um, I'm sure um, would have like a separate meeting for the development team after like a separate meeting sometime probably next week to assign the work better. But Enoch has set up the main things, um, the major things or has started the project already. So it's to start to, you know, put up the main components. If you want to participate in this work, if you're um if you're not, if you do not respond to that message that you know put on the Slack, you can still respond and you know indicate interest in building this wonderful website that Kinsley and uh, the design team has made. So yeah, so that's about that agenda item. Does anyone have any feedback, any questions that I can pass on to either Enoch or Kinsley? Um, would I have something to say? Can you hear me? Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I want to ask, um, during the contribution project, does it mean that um, the person must have a high level knowledge of the one of the language, either CSS or version or before um, he can contribute or a shadow on those can be posted to apply in this project? Okay, so to answer that question, I think Enoch could be in a better position to answer this question, but I'll just give a shot at I'll give a shot at it. Um I think the major things would be high, like the the starting part will be high level to like set um set the oh my god, people that do react, please you help me. <laughs> um okay. they do want to say something. <clears throat> Okay, so I think I think everybody will be able to contribute. You don't have to have an um, expert in experience. There will be different things that we can maybe add a button, two different things. So by the time it's broken down into bits, people will be able to pick what they can do. Okay, thank you very much, Midi. Um, Dila, does that kind of like answer your question? Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, thank I'll, you. I'll, I'll, I'll still drop a link to Enoch and find out more about Okay, no worries. Um, so does any other person have like a feedback or a question as well or or imputes on the awesome work we're seeing here? Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> so we can move to the next agenda item. Well done, Enoch Kingsley and every other person involved in this. Okay, so well done, every other person involved in it. Well done, Kingsley. The design is really amazing. And moving to the next item on the agenda, that would be. Um, for the Twitter space series, we are going to be talking about how to fast. So, which... okay, okay, sure. Um, so, who, um, how many people know about how to fast? Maybe thumbs up or yes, I know about how to fast. I do. Okay, that's one person. Does any other person know about how to fast? Okay, so October 1st is, um, it happens every year. It's a month-long contribution in 
open source like where people um participate in projects different open source projects and you know you submit for pull requests and then october 1st um after the end of the after the end of october throughout october you submit for pull requests and then um october 1st will give you like a shirt and some swags like some stickers right you get um, a shirt and stickers if you're able to finish four pull requests like four merged pull requests so um usually in this month of october you know it's everywhere people talk about open source a lot a lot of people try to contribute so um i thought about you know having chaos as a project to participate in october fests and also not just participate but also um also how do i say this um also um run educative um educate people about Hacktoberfest and how to start contributing. So um, the idea is would have like a Twitter space series in the month of October um, to talk about three different things. Um, you know, how to get started with open source in Hacktoberfest, which would be the first topic, which um, the first Twitter space, which I am trying to get a speaker to... Um, coming second topic would be about getting your first pr merged um your first pull request like because a lot of times in contributing to open source it's always that first contribution is really like very hard and second um the second one will talk about how you can get your pr merged. so the the idea of the twitter space series is to speak to the larger audience like Let's try like because our audience is like in chaos Africa, our audience is Africans, um, it's like Africans that are trying to contribute to open source. So the idea is to you know speak to that audience and educate them about open source, right? Because the the major goal that we have for Chaos Africa, if you do not know that, is you know, trying to involve um trying to find challenges that's Africans face while they try to contribute to open source and trying to solve those challenges. So using this Twitter space series, it's going to be an educative uh, means to help people understand what Hacktoberfest is, how to get their first PR merge. And then the third topic, maybe towards like the last week of October is, you know, staying, still contributing to open source after Hacktoberfest, because that's another thing. In that month, people are really hyped about open source and they contribute and they just forget about it, right? And they don't contribute again. So the last topic would be about um, getting people to still contribute to open source after mm -hmm. October 1st. So, um, yeah, so this those are like the ideas I have. Um, I thought about for the October 1st series. Um, thank you to whoever is jotting down the notes. Thank you so much. Um, so those are the ideas and I have gotten, I'm trying to get a speaker for this first one, the first Twitter space. Um, tentative date is the 24th of um, September. Why is the 24th of September? Because October 1st is officially starting. I think they want to start on 25th of September. So I'm trying to get a speaker, Eddie Jord. Um, he's really very popular in open source. I'm trying to get him to come stuck on that space, but because of the timeline, it's quite tight and he's he might be unavailable. Um, I might talk on that. Um, and any other person that wants to maybe con um help out with speaking or maybe facilitating that can also indicate interest. But if if Eddie is not available, there's a speaker that I'm planning to give the talk is not available. I can, I would let everybody know and you know find another speaker for the second Twitter space. Um, for the second Twitter space, I have two speakers already. Um, they are two people that the. I, there was a time, there was a space where we talked and they were able to get their first PR merge. So that's why I'm bringing them on the space because 
they they know um they have that experience with getting their first contribution accepted out putting their names later then the last one i have i don't have any plans for a speaker yet so these are like the different the different um things for this space but the question now is how do you get involved i have a planning document which i'm going to find find very soon where i'm trying to get um different projects like say for example the slack bot we are trying to bring up issues and features that easy features that people can contribute to other projects in chaos as well like we can start up with so if you're interested in planning this Twitter space series and this participation, please, you can indicate interest and we can, you know, talk more about this outside of this meeting. Sorry, I, I was experiencing some network issues. No so maybe I'll, I'll ask later more about what you just shared. Okay, so um, I see Homa has indicated interest. Does any other person? Homa, oh sorry, I was supposed to be your co-host. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> you're going to you're going to do you're going to do that next week. Yes. No, I still need to co-host with someone, please. You know, you're doing it on your own. <laughs> Thank you, Anita. Um, okay. Okay, great. Um, so does anyone have like any suggestions or any ideas right now? So we can also talk about those ideas, like bounce off on those ideas and those suggestions. Oh, great. Thank you, Midi. I'll assign Dotson to it right now. So I just assigned Dotson to the issue. Thank you, Dotson. Go for it. Okay. Um. So does anyone have any ideas or like feedback for the October 1st whole participation, how we can make it, you know, more visible, how we can make it more better. Maybe we'll discuss that. Okay. Okay, I think probably we'll discuss more in um about October first in the smaller group of volunteers. But yeah, so that's all. I think that's all about like the October first planning. Um, I'm definitely sure it's going to bring in a lot of people to contribute to open source and understand how to participate and also get swags after they contribute. So I'm excited for that. So yeah, what to you, Homa? Okay, thank you, Ruth, for this amazing have to have first idea. I'm so excited. Um, moving to the next item on the agenda, that will be the end of quarter fun section session. Ruth? Yeah. Um so this is just something fun. Like I I thought about getting to know the committee member. We have like over very very interestingly we have like over 100 people like and that's that's a very big big fit for us in chaos africa like over 100 people in the past in the past three months um that chaos africa started like um we've gotten a lot of people and then um he, like up to 30 percent of these 100 people are participating have been making contributions which is like a very good thing so I have I thought about if we'll be interested in a very interesting one hour or 30 minutes fun session where we we'll get to know each other better, what we do, um, play Kahoot games as well, like with 
So I don't know if it is something that people are interested in doing. It will be online, definitely on a on a platform. We get to know each other. We you know, do a lot of things. Yeah, so that's a great idea. I think it will be cool. Kind of place to unwind, connect with people outside chaos. You know? It's a very yeah. nice idea. Like I like that idea. Oh, okay. nice. Okay, that that's great. I see like a lot of people like the idea. So, um, does anybody want to take a lead on planning this? I can help too, definitely. Well, I can just be part of the planning team, but I can't leave that. I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> no no worries. <laughs> okay. So it will just involve, let me just put in what it would involve. Um, Kahoot games. Okay, um delight is delight wants to be part of it as well. So after the planning you start with it. Sorry, I didn't get you delight. So we get are you going to do this? Are we get okay? That's not even like we've not thought about it, but it should be in October. Um it should be in October, but we've not also talked about that too. Or we can think about when we want, but it will definitely be in October. Something to get everybody together. We'll not talk about anything um, chaos related, just get to know each other, get to network with a lot of people down Chaos Africa. Okay. Does anyone have any other ideas? Or feedback about the end of quarter session. And Enoch is here. Hi, Enoch. Hi, Enoch. Can you hear us? We've been waiting for you. I'm in a very remote place. I don't know whether my network is okay and you can hear me. There is even a mowing machine in my background. <laughs> we can hear you, Enoch. But I think I did, I did some talking about what you were supposed to share. But maybe you want ah, to talk more about it. I even... I, I, I don't know what you shared. I don't know what to talk about, but I'm here. Nice to see you guys. I hope you guys are doing great. Yep, we what 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 do I need to talk about? Um, oh, someone was presenting. I don't want to <laughs> to bump into the meeting like it was mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I I shared um the the project board. I showed everyone the project board, the technologies we are looking at, and the work you started already. Um, so maybe you want to talk more about um, the different people oh. that signed up to participate and how how it will look, how the project will look like, like an overview, because um, I know a lot of people really signed up to talk about, um, to oh. contribute to it. So you want to talk about like an overview of how the work would look like. Okay, okay, no problem. You sure no, no one was presenting or no one, I did bump into someone's on time. No, 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 no. I was, we're talking about um, the the last agenda item and um, nobody had... Oh, we can finish that first. Hmm? We can finish that first. Oh, oh yeah, we, I think we have finished that because nobody, um, I was asking if there was any question or any contribution, but nobody indicated a question. Oh, some time. 
Mm, yeah. Woohoo. Yeah, um uh, you could go back to the meeting minutes. I want to follow up something. Okay. From the meeting minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Um hmm, I don't know whether you're talking about the budging. Oh, no, no, no. So that is a um, budging website, not <laughs> Okay, I think I'll start with the uh, budging um, website then um, October 1st too. I don't know what you've talked about it. Um, no, but for the budging website, the hey budging guys. Website, who, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead. How are you doing, gentlemen and ladies? I'm actually up and down, almost moving around the whole country as per now. I only settle in the evenings. Even right now, just got um, a place to settle. Um, I don't know what um ruth has communicated so far but we got i think now i can share my screen because i'm not going to tell ruth to start can you see my screen i can see it but i'm not going to tell you always that go here click here ah i can do that out. don't worry oh okay no problem um if you could go to <coughs> badging organization and go to teams okay um teams Yep. Teams. Um, scroll down. Oh, Look wow. I see website. what you've been doing. Oh. Yep. So, um, oh, where do we see the members from? Oh, um, go up. Go up. Members um, on your extreme right up where there is discussions and members. Yep. There. So, um, all those that commented out in the thread in um, Slack about contributing, I added you to this team. And what this helps us do is um, you can automatically assign yourself an issue without um, needing um, actually to comment on it, without needing um, to ask me to carry it on. And also um, GitHub has um, had an integration that it can automatically suggest um, assignees to a particular issue depending on which team we've created for it. So um, we have five pending members, and in these members, um, we have one who is interested in Python. Um, we've so far had one who is interested in content um, in um, technical writing and content creation. Um, we mm -hmm. have the rest are interested. Oh, we have Kingsley and Lamy, whom I don't know whether they're interested in development, but they have been helping <laughs> us do a good job in um, developing the UI which is actually done, I should say. Then we have um, Ruth, whom I don't know where she falls, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, um, I'm helping out anywhere. I'm, I'm everywhere. We have the other, nice. We have other team members. The rest of us are React.js. So how we are going to do this, um, if you could open up um, Figma, I'm sure it's opened up somewhere. Yeah, Your this tabs. one here. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. The other one. What's the other one having? Yeah, there, 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 there. That, that's okay. The home page. There. No, no, no. It's fine. That's a nice layout. You can leave it like that. Okay. So um, we can do all this in um React JS. And what we're going to do, um, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't know what expertise um we had. So I didn't want to actually do anything from scratch. I wanted um, to give chance to people who wanted to contribute while I'm taking care of maintaining the code and making sure that everyone is actually contributing something. And I'm doing um, the code review and also doing the DevOps side of it. So basically right now we need, as you can see these pages, one, two, three, four, four five, six, seven, at least everybody will be attached to a page depending on your expertise. And then, um, we are going to have people develop. So far, I can see only two components that are actually heavy to develop. That is the header and the footer. These components go and cut across every page like you can see. There is a header, footer, header, footer, header, footer, header, footer, header, footer. So that's a repeated component that we shall need someone dedicated to only designing that stuff. We can duplicate it on all other components. Um, there's some other components. If you can go to Kingsley, where is that page that has other components? Um, um, just hi, Nock. Well done. Thank you. Um, still talking about the components, you know, um, 
though I haven't been active for I think about a week or two now. That's so okay. I had a call. Yeah, I had a call with um, Lamy this afternoon. So um, mm -hmm. there are still other components you need to clean up. And also for the mm -hmm. design, because some of the components, you know, um, we didn't really agree on certain things when we started out. But Ooh. and we have to we have to fix it up and then update the design. So I don't know if okay. uh, maybe why you uh, why you assign um, uh, this thing. Why you assign people to each of the pages? Maybe I think we will need uh, between now, today is Thursday, and uh, this weekend to clean mm -hmm. up all the components you need. But for now, the header is all we have. I think the footer, there's just a bit of uh, uh, updates we have to make. I think I had, uh, I discussed that with Ruth. And um, of course, but the color styles and the type, you know, header mm -hmm. and all that, all those ones are. All oh, those are okay, yeah. But you okay, need like cool. your form, the, your form states, mm. you know, the button at enable mm. state and all that. So and like mm. you get to work on all that. So you'll have that between, let's just say maybe on next Monday, you can start fully and, you know. Okay. Did you do some animations um for the workflow, like um transitions and stuff? Interactions. Yeah, interactions. Um, mm, we didn't really work on micro interactions. Okay, so, if, so we um, can actually exploit. Can I come in? Can I come in? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Who is Abracadabra um, animation, please. There are some animations <laughs> I've seen you people, um, UI UX designers, put recently because of this uh, <laughs> new feature on your on your page on Figma. <laughs> allows you to create animations and people create impossible animations <laughs> like i just look at them and i start laughing like oh was that a question uh, <laughs> honestly don't I didn't get that but then um okay. But if there's any need to point, um, like maybe during the course of development, the whole idea of micro interactions is just uh, helping also the developer understand how it play out. Not it's not necessarily supposed to be complex, you know. So, uh, but when it's been implemented, if the implementation is all cool, then we can just point you guys to maybe something we have in mind. Um, all right. Um. Um. I, I'm hopefully by um by um, Monday, like you say, it will be there. But I think for now, since you said the colors um, and um, the header, the footer, and also um, the fonts and stuff are all okay to go, I think we can have... Um, um, Mide, you're talking of animations. You, you look like you know the CSS. Can I assign you some tasks concerning CSS? <laughs> are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, it's React now. What what do you develop in? Um, I mean, like um, we need to set up um some of these um reusable assets and um also um building up uh, the CSS um design system so that yeah. um well, it is it is just a reference it is just reference depending on where someone wants to someone wants to place the designs. Eh? All right, so are you a designer Some... or a developer? Oh, no, 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 I'm a developer. I don't, I do oh, the okay. design, but I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I'm thinking we'll use React now, so I'm thinking it's Twitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I know people yes. run away from that. So it's reusable. Re yeah, React, yes. Um, but um, of course, we need to set up um, the CS library and also customize it to our own um, design here okay let me know yeah, what you want what to saying. work on okay i think like um, your custom colors yeah 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 things like that so that um we can get a best library that um any other designer can reference in any of these pages just in case they need to put like colors um um fonts um margins and stuff like that um text um um input boxes um things like okay. padding margins yeah, I don't know. I've not yet gone into we have, the tip. Pardon? We 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 have. Um, you just mentioned that to um, uh, the grid distinct layout has been defined for desktop, uh, um, uh, mobile. And oh yes. Tablet. 
so you can look at it the spacing and so i think that's also sorted so you can start you know defining that when creating your own components okay um, um pardon someone saying something yeah uh, what um, i want to say i think the um, figma uh, with something option has a kind of a CSS it where you can see the yes, yes, padding yes. uh, margin the rest of them. Yeah, it has. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, and I'm and I'm and I'm, I'm saying this. I I hope. Um, if you can't um figure it out, of course we can work it out together. But of course, if you go to if you can click anything any any element here and you go to Figma on your on your right here, um, it can show you the CSS when you go to the design um tab. So you can copy paste, but of course, for consistency, there are some there is, there is some CSS that are, that doesn't affect actually a particular component that is that is that that is used throughout the whole um, design. So that's the kind of CSS um, library we want to put together, so that um, um, in case there is a primary, secondary color or font usage, depending on um, where it's going to be used, we can um, make we can we can make um, a CSS file. That we can reference from all those things for consistency in the design throughout these seven arm pages. That is what I was um, trying to communicate to to me. But um, of course, since this is the collaborative thing, um, we shall discuss to make sure that um, we are understanding what we. Um, I mean, I mean, so that um we know that um, we are developing something and we've all understood it and we've agreed to it. But I, I hope you understand um, the kind of um, task I was telling media to create. Is that understandable? Yeah, yeah I understand. Um, you know, I would like to ask a question. Yes. Sorry for that. I want to ask, um, like, what is the timeline for this, for this, um, this um, CSS um, actually, I can't hear you clearly, but I can. I heard what you say. You're asking for the timeline of all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the fact is that question is hard to answer because I have not yet explored the expertise of the people who want to contribute and their activeness. So, um, not their activeness, but I mean um, their availability. So it's hard to predict. We'd love to have this actually. We are almost, if other people accept the invitations, we'll be almost like 10 people. If we are 10 people, this could be done in a month if people are actively contributing to it. Well, people are working on very many other different, different things and we're pushing at, um, at, um, at a steady, at a steady um, speed. But for now, it is really something I can't ask unless after a week of um, development and we've seen how everyone contributes and um, the availability of everyone, at least we can um, try to tell how long this can take us. Did I answer that right? Yeah, 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 that's it. Uh, I, what I'm asking is that uh, I had a bit of studio, so I was like thinking of if the timeline is before I start it. Whether I can is it me who is not hearing daylight so well, or? I hear me now. Yeah, like, it's quite, um, I, I'm hearing you so well. Okay, see, yeah, you I can um, go again. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said, what I'm asking, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Okay. I said, what I'm asking, for the time I have a business page and it's very, very tight. So I want to look for two minutes, just for two minutes. So I'm looking for Ooh. a space and um, timeline that I can use to do one or two things on the um, margin websites. So I don't know. I really didn't hear that if, also. I think um, Delight yeah. is asking, like, he, he said um, he's asking because. Uh, you know, he has a busy schedule for some time, so he wants to know the timeline so he can, you know, find things that he could participate in regardless of um, his busy schedule. Or so um, you can't participate now because you have a busy schedule or you want to find how to fit um, this yeah, program in fit. your busy schedule. How to fit. How to fit. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm, um, 
I don't know uh, how this will be done because like um, you saw the project board actually is having nothing. Okay, it's, it's having something, but it's not really, it's not really um, having a lot of information. But I was thinking um, for now, what we're going to do is I'm going to break out, I'm going to break down all these design um, issues like someone can touch on. Um, so it will be really up to you to come in those issues and choose out an issue you think um, may not take you a lot of time to contribute, but also um, it will be also um, dependent on um, when we may need that kind of thing, because right now actually we need the reusable components as soon as, um, as uh, before, before we, before a lot of um, development onto these other pages I've started. So you could choose out, um, like designing the head, I don't think that can take very long really. That's if we have our CS custom library in place. So you could choose, you could come and look at the board and choose out what kind of um, task you can do given the time you have and then do that. Or if you are having a busy schedule now and think you're going to have some time, maybe in between weekends or what, or a month from now, um, we still have a whole project events and diversity project coming up that we've not yet created before, but it's supposed to be also part of this um, project. So I'm sure it's it's still um, something that is running on. And also, um, if that is also a problem, we have... We we have not yet started on the back end of this project, which is going to be hosting the, the which is going to be hosting the, the, the budging review process and also automations. That is something we want to move from GitHub to this page. So the project is still actually continuing. So you, you don't need to fear that um, in a, when I say in a month, I mean for what is so far provided. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the body is actually not yet um, organized so well. I am, I am still struggling to find time to put it so well. If you can see it there, some things have already been done. The others were just drafts and there are no issues created. Something I want to populate. Uh, I've been committing to do it throughout this week, but I've been up and down and moving um, across the country. Uh, hopefully I'll settle down and do that um, before next Monday, like um, Kingsley promises also to have some other components already put in here because okay. it's the only thing that is stopping us from starting. Also, um, there are some changes I've not yet pushed. If you can look at the repositories, just having um, the React um, framework, um, like uh, the React um, framework and it's not yet um, touched in any way, but I have a local repository that is actually not uh, that is actually um, edited and configured from scratch. I just put that repository to be like a placeholder. Yeah, I think I see that, um, you know, and yeah, I think yeah. I, to the timeline, I think we are going to, we are going to have a better timeline by next week. Um, yeah, sure, sure, sure. People's um, education to read. Do not be yeah, we have another time with Hive Binod. We're almost yeah. rounding up. Um, so yeah, so thank you. Thank you um for sharing. And if you sure. um I think um we have someone that wants to participate. Kinsley, we have someone um Chinedu that wants to participate in the design group. So he, he just joined. So probably you'd um help him help Chinedu yeah, out. I'm actually replying to some messages on Slack. Okay. So we are okay. talking at the moment. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Um, so I think I think that's really all we have uh for today. All Thank right. you. And the Hacktoberfest is also coming up. I don't know how far you are with it, but hopefully you're running it up. We shall have um some some tickets around. I'm sure you've talked about that. Hopefully um, yeah, yeah. we can have the communication as soon as possible. Yeah, sure. We would also have like I think All we'll right. have a situation where everybody will get on stand, you know, in the community also get on stand what we'll Hacktober Fest is as well. But yeah, thank you everyone yeah. for joining and thank you, sure. Omar, our first leader for today. Um, does anybody want to, you know, lead the next um meeting like facilitation for next time? 
just find a perfect time for when Omar and I will I'll facilitate. Facilitate uh, again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll support Enoch. I'll co-host with Enoch. You're always oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay, thank you very much, um, Enoch and Kinsley. Right. See you all next meeting. And yeah, all right. bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Everyone. Hey, Vinod. Hi. Hi everyone. Can you make <laughs> me go to Ruth? Yeah, sure. Oh, I'm Ruth. Do that right now. Before you leave. <laughs>